episode, I will be exploring the concept that we are the sum total of everything we have seen and heard as our eyes and ears serve as the gateway to our soul. Let's start with our eyes. We turn to the Bible in Matthew chapter 6, verse 22 through 24. It states that I is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body is full of light. With that said, your eyes symbolize the focus of your life, shaping your journey based on what you seek. On a personal note, a few weeks ago, I shared that I haven't owned a TV for nearly eight years, as I believe that most TV programs are conveying false information. While owning and watching TV is at your own free will, remember that everything you watch is stored in your subconscious mind, so be mindful of your choices. Many of you are likely familiar with the example I'm about to share. Have you ever sat someone down and gazed directly into their eyes to inquire about their true feelings or the truth? In those moments, the eyes often convey the answer without even a single word being spoken. Once again, eyes have a way of revealing everything. Now shifting our focus to our ears, they play an equally critical role in absorbing noise and chatter from our external world. We should keep in mind that ultimately, we are very much like sponges absorbing everything that we're encountering every day. Unfortunately, we can't hide underneath the rock, you know, for safety. However, we do possess the ability to use our free will to choose what we embrace and discard, ensuring that only what serves our highest good influences us. The question revolves around how to protect your gateways. I would recommend understanding what is beneficial for your body, heart, and mind. Exercise wisdom. Refrain from overindulging in anything that does not align with your highest good or soul's purpose. Ultimately, what you watch and listen to molds the narrative to your inner world. I hope this week's episode has helped you and thank you for watching. For anyone looking to collaborate, please send me a message. I would love to hear from you. That information can be found in the link below. And until we meet next time, remember to always stay glamorous.